Thanks, West Mall. Well, today is March 31st. It's transfer day here in the Virgin Islands. Commencements were held at the Lowetz Museum. I got the opportunity to visit with some friends during the commencements. Welcome to the 31st of March, which for all of us here in the Virgin Islands know it's a very significant day in our history. It is transfer day. And we're here at the Lowetz Museum, of which is very important every year annually. They always have the transfer day ceremony in honor of it and the annualness of it right here on these hollowed grounds at the Lowetz Museum. And I'm here, I've got my Virgin Islands flag, and I'm here with Betsy Rizzuto, and she's got her Denmark flag. Betsy Rosendi, and she's here with her Denmark flag, and today is transfer day. So tell me, Betsy, a little bit about what you do as far as you are a member of the Denmark Friends of Denmark Thank Society. You, Friends of Denmark Society, I am the president, and we co-sponsor this jointly with the um, St. Croix Landmark Society. And we've been doing this for many, many years, and we've been doing it on the property here which belongs to Landmark Society, the Carl and Marie Louette's Family Museum. We've done, been doing it for about five or seven years here. Originally, it was done at, the ceremonies were done at Budho Park, mm -hmm. because that's where the original ceremonies were conducted. But this, we thought, was a nice picnic area, family area. You don't have to be concerned with um, cars going back and forth, and it's a safe area. It is a very safe, very pretty area. Pretty and of course, area. you can see behind me, this is a tree that's been here for over 100 years. And this is the 93rd year of transfer. So this tree has seen a lot of history, hasn't yes, it, it, Betsy? Has. Tell us a little bit about the commencements and what we're going to be doing here today. Okay, well, we're going to have a number of people speak today. The um, lieutenant governor is going to be here to talk about the history between uh, Denmark and the Virgin Islands and the friendship between uh, Denmark and the Virgin Islands. So that's what it's all about, the friendship between both countries, that both countries, even though one sold the other, they are very friendly with one another. A number of Danes come, as you're going to see in the background. A lot of Danes are here. A lot of interest. The Danish parliament came. Uh, their cultural and uh, historic committee came. And so a lot of people are interested in the Denmark. And there's going to be a lot more interest for the 100th anniversary of the transfer. And here also celebrating transfer day with us, Senator Wayne James. What a fine seersucker suit you have on today. That's a great one. And what does this day mean to you, Senator? It means lots of things. Um, but from a historical perspective, it means the day that we stopped being Danish residents or citizens or subjects and became Americans. Um, but it also signified um, a day of a change in mentality. Um, under the Danish rule, we were an agrarian people. Mm -hmm. And although that system of, of making a living continued into the American era, a foundation for what was called the American dream was laid. Um, the issue then is, have we embraced that American dream? I think beyond that, there's now the, the transition that has to take place. Obviously, in 2017, we're going to celebrate the 100th anniversary of transfer. And I gave the keynote address, address last year. And the question that I ended the speech was, with was whether we are to, be, are to be looking forward to the 100th anniversary of transfer, or should we be looking forward to the first anniversary of independence? And the question was based on the premise that our our forefathers, our founding fathers also had visions and what did Bodo think when he asked for freedom mm -hmm. and demanded it and, and got it? And, right, and what did, did the four queens of the fire burn, what did they want? Mm -hmm. Matilda McBean and Susanna Abramson and Mary Thomas and Axelin Solomon. What, what did Queen Brefew in the 1733 rebellion in, in St. John want? And so when you ask these big questions, then we come to the, the to the bigger question as to right now we're dealing with, with with a constitution that has to be in compliance with the United States Constitution. But is that what we ought to be looking forward to, or should we be writing our own constitution? Also here with us is uh, the chairman of Landmark Society, Javiel Larson, and tell us a little bit about what this day means to you. Um, it's a um, very special commemorative day of the transfer between. Um, from Denmark to the United States of America. Also, it's a period in time where we kind of got tested in terms of our citizenship 
as um, natives. So it's a very important day for the history of St. Croix and the, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. And I'm here at Transfer Day 2010. Jerome Aguian with Channel 8 News. Thank you. And a happy transfer day to one and all. But it's not so happy for Zanelle Archibald. She is still missing, 16 years old, and was last seen earlier today in Hannah's Rest. If you've seen Zanelle or know anyone who's taking care of Zanelle, please call 911. Her parents want to see her home for Easter. And we have more news for you after the break. Stay with us on Channel 8.